What's going on out there, YouTube family? This is Sammy Leggy here representing Team JVS. I'm here to give you guys a preliminary early review for WandaVision. This is a Disney Plus exclusive. We've been waiting to see what Marvel has got underneath their sleeves ever since the announcement like a few years ago. And as well as like um, the illusion that this is going to start to pay certain ways into Doctor Strange 2 and Spider-Man 3. But we don't know really how, and we do know the structure around this is those, you know, old 90s, uh, well not 90s, but older era TV shows, like 60s and 50s, like thinking like Bewitched or I Love Lucy or um, anything like that, like or the Brady Bunch. They go through those eras pretty naturally and progressively, um, but let's just kind of break it down as best I can very quickly. In terms of the acting and the chemistry between Paul Bettany and Elizabeth Olsen, Elizabeth Olsen is amazing in this. To be quite honest with you, she has never been better. Um, in terms of devotion and giving her time to kind of just act, giving her a moment to be able to have moments of joy and levity and joy on top of like constructive dissection, like why she acts the way she acts. What, what actually is she really happy about? What does she really need? And then seeing the serious tones, to see like the ominous side of her, the, 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 the angry side of her, um, the worried, um, drawn out person that she is now. You see glimpses of it, but the way that they film it and the way they do it is very well done. Even from the fact that and you've seen in the, the previews that they have full realization that they have powers. Like she still has everything that she can do and Vision has everything that he can do. It's just a fish out of water kind of situation because don't really know what's going on neither through day. They're going through the process as well as time in and of itself. You don't know really how much time is really going past. It's not until around like the episode three you really get an understanding of kind of time and progressive how this is actually really going. Paul Bettany, I think this is the best that Vision has ever been because honestly, Paul Bettany is hilarious, bro. I I remember when, um, what was it? Uh, A Knight's Tale. That was the first time I really saw Pat Bettany. I saw him in Wimbledon after that, but it was kind of like in A Knight's Tale, I was like, yo, he's funny, he's charismatic, like he is insane. And this one, he's really just going for it. But Paul Bettany also, really does know this character vision. Like, he really embodies the character very well. And I think that every beat that he gives with um, his performance in this one, it is very multi-layered. It is very funny. It's also very bewildering. You don't really know where things are going to go. And I know for a fact it's going to get very emotional. I think that's the thing that is going into that route. The more and more we get closer to going down the era of time, um, you start to see that, as well as uh, color palette. Some of the things that they do as far as cinematography, it, 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 it is very sharp and it looks beautiful, but it's shot in the way that it would be like for these sitcoms, for these older shows, and that is actually pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I loved, you know, back in the day, like Dick Van Dyke or like uh, I Dream of Jeannie or I Love Lucy. Those things I actually really loved. In addition to that, you also got, um, man, a character, I don't want to say, but that character has ties to the future of the MCU. And I, I think that the way they use that character is very interesting, specifically the second and third episodes. I think that they do a really good job. Like, it's not like, oh, well, this is kind of shoehorned in. Like, no, it kind of naturally progresses through the course of the actual story. Um, the other thing is, like, visually, like, I'm actually surprised with the subtleties of the VFX. VFX is actually really good. And the reason why I know it's really good is because the things that use VFX, you can barely really see it. Um, I think they definitely dedicated a lot to this. And honestly, when I got to the third episode, I was like, I was, I was hooked, line, and sinker. It was, the second episode, I, I will critique and say that it was very slow. I was kind of getting a little sleepy and tired. First episode progressed really well. It was a lot of mystery intrigue to that. There was a couple pause moments. I was like, what the heck? And then the third episode happened, and it was like, I was going down this route, and I was like, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, 
Whoa, whoa, slow down, vision. slow down, Wanda. Like, what are you doing? You know, literally, like, that's the identification of that specific episode. Of this is going way too fast, and you feel it. And I, I actually really did enjoy that. Where I'm like, man, where are things going to go? And that's where I'm kind of resting at. This is actually pretty good. If I had to give the first few episodes a raking, I'd probably say eight out of ten. Actually, it's it's pretty good and it's and gave me more than I thought it would. I didn't have high expectations for this, but now I think I might I might have come around to this. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I can't say anything more than that because everything else would be more of a spoiler. I don't want to indicate or implicate any other characters that may or may not be in this. Let's just say there are sprinkled throughout nothing but Easter eggs, nothing but um delusions and 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 things that you just don't know um and you don't want to miss where i think this is where i think they're gonna take it anyway keep it locked jvs we ain't gonna stop peace guys